So the very first time since WWDC we finally have an update on the Mac version of Resident Evil Village. And yes, that is an Apple Silicon MacBook Pro in the background and it's their front and center of the announcement of Resident Evil Village Gold. So we're finally getting an update about the Mac release of this game, which was first announced in WWDC earlier this year in June. And back then we didn't really have many details. We knew that it would run on Apple Silicon Macs and that it would take advantage of the new Metal 3 graphics API and that it would be compatible with existing M1 chips from the MacBook Air to the Mac Studio. So first things first, when is the release date? So the gold edition of Resident Evil Village, which is coming out on other platforms too, is going to be released on the 28th of October 2022. However, it looks like the Mac version is a different story. Later in the same video, they state that the Mac port is going to be released in 2022, which is very likely to be later than the release date on other platforms. So we can only really guess why this is the case. Perhaps the Mac version still needs time to be worked on. Maybe there are specific tweaks and optimizations required to get it working on Apple Silicon hardware. Or it could be the case that they're waiting for macOS Ventura to finally release and get it to the hands of the public. This has a general release date of October 2022. And although it's incredibly unlikely for Apple to delay this any further, it doesn't necessarily make sense for Capcom to tie their release date to a required operating system that might not even be out yet. However, if we look at the newly released system requirements for the Mac side of Resident Evil Village, at the top you can see under compatible OSs, we actually have macOS Monterey as a compatible operating system. So firstly, it's quite interesting that macOS Monterey is going to be supported. This is because it really looked like Metal 3 required macOS Ventura because they have the same hardware requirements. However, if Resident Evil Village requires Metal 3, then maybe our assumptions are wrong and macOS Monterey can run Metal 3 after all. And so which Macs can actually run this game? It looks like on the devices list, we have every single Apple Silicon Mac listed. Interestingly, there isn't a single Intel Mac or a discrete GPU. This is despite the fact that many older Intel Macs do have support for Metal 3, and there are many configurations that could easily outperform the base M1 chip. But for some reason, they are only going to be targeting Apple Silicon Macs. And this potentially makes a huge amount of sense because you only really have one type of GPU and one type of CPU that you have to support. Whereas if they did support Intel Macs, they'd have to deal with AMD, Nvidia, and Intel GPUs, which can be a real mess of compatibility. And another interesting thing about this compatibility list is the fact that we have no RAM requirement. And this is not necessarily a surprise because all Apple Silicon Macs come with 8GB of RAM as a minimum, even down to the lowest, cheapest MacBook Air. So whether you have a base M1 or an M1 Ultra, it looks like you're going to be able to have a good experience playing this game on Apple Silicon hardware. So what exactly is going to be included in this release of Resident Evil Village? So this game is going to include a new mode called the third person mode, which is going to be an over the shoulder familiar Resident Evil type experience instead of the first person view from the original game. Secondly, there is a new story mode called Shadows of Rose. This is a brand new story mode which is played in the third person, which follows the events of the original game 16 years later with Ethan's daughter. And the last third part of the expansion is the mercenaries additional orders which features brand new playable characters and areas. And basically these three components make up what's called the Winter's Expansion or what should be the Gold Edition, which is basically the complete edition of Resident Evil Village. So on the Mac website for Resident Evil Village, it's not super clear about whether we're actually going to get the full Winter's Expansion DLC as part of the Mac release, because it says here it's also planned for release. So that potentially this could be a separate DLC on the Mac side anyway. Furthermore, is Resident Evil Village going to come to Steam? If you buy the game now, are you also going to get the Mac release? At the moment, it's incredibly unclear exactly which platforms this is going to come out for. Personally, I think it's very unlikely that a Steam release is also going to include the Mac version. I think it's much more likely for this to appear on the App Store as a completely separate game that you're going to have to purchase separately. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you think it's going to come out on Steam as well. And also be great to hear feedback about what you thought about this announcement for Resident Evil Village on Mac. This game represents the biggest collaboration that Apple Silicon has had so far with a AAA game studio. And the success or failure of this game on Mac could determine the future of Mac gaming forever. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.